How to create a tarp appeal in Canva. Hey everyone, welcome. We hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to actually create your very own tarp appeal using Canva. Now, Canva does not actually offer the option to create a tarp appeal. Uh, not really. I mean, you can, you know, decide to do it within Canva itself, but it's going to be a little bit difficult. So what we're going to be doing first is actually creating the design from Canva, and then we will head on over to a different site which is going to turn it into a tarp appeal because if you actually want to do it within Canva, everything is, is actually going to take a little bit of time uh, and it's going to be quite difficult. So let's just go in and get to it and not waste much time. So first is actually creating the design. So you can feel free to create whichever design that you actually like. Most likely it's going to be a banner sized um, design. So we can just cl click on create design on the top left, click on more and we can just search for banner and let's see which size could suit our needs here. Um, we can just use this one as an example. So let's just go and click on that one. And maybe we can just go and try this uh, out. And our sizes don't really make that much of a difference. So if you wanted to make a, a smaller size uh, tarp appeal, it's also going to work. You just want to adjust something at the end, which I will talk about. But now that you have your size here, all you need to do is just go ahead and actually design it. So you can feel free to add your designs and everything. So we just got this one that we can use for the time being. And if we just close out of here, you can feel free to adjust it to your liking. We can, you know, uh, adjust the text. For example, you can just add your own text uh, and change all the elements that you want to change. So I'm not going to talk much about, you know, designing your... Um, a tarp appeal, uh, just go ahead and do it yourself. And I'm just going to make it a little bit less dark like so. Okay, so let's say this is the design that we actually want. Now, if you want to do a tarp appeal in Canva itself, it's going to be too difficult for you because you want to try to split um, some sections evenly and it's, it's going to be difficult. So instead, all you need to do is just go and click on share on the top right and click on download. And then you can select PNG and click on download. And now that we have our design ready and downloaded on our device, we have one more step to go, which is going to be opening up a new browser tab. And we want to search for a specific website, which is pretty much, you know, um, going to help us with creating the tarp appeal aspect to our design. So all you need to do is just go ahead and open up your browser tab and type in docu slice. And once you type in docuslice, you, you should find this uh, website here, which is docuslice.com. Go ahead and open this up. And basically what this is going to allow us to do is create a tarp appeal, as you can see uh, on this screen right here. So just go ahead and click on web. And once you click on web, we have our uh, design here. So all you need to do is just go ahead and click on the top left option, which says an image and a plus icon to it. Click on that and basically upload your image, which we just downloaded from Canva and click on add to page, select all, add to page. Uh, and now that we have this, we basically want to try to split it as much as we can or as many as we want uh, with our splitter uh, with this um, basically options here. But first, if you want, you can feel free to just go and click on it and resize it to fit the screen by clicking on resize on the bottom left. Just make sure you actually click on the first, otherwise it's not going to show. Click on that and I'm just going to select full size and stretch like so. And now we basically get to splitting. So all you need to do is just go ahead and click away from the actual image and then you will find poster option from the bottom left. Click on that and then you will basically be able to select how many um, you know splits you actually want. So we can increase this to two okay so the fit resize option is actually going to um not work correctly so let's just go ahead and do this and try it now so poster again let's just go and increase this and increase this as well like so i think we can add one more okay so i think this is perfect you can just play around with it until uh, it is proper here, and if we just move it back here, and maybe now we can resize it back to full size and stretch. Okay, yeah, so now we should... 
be good to go. So you may want to, you know, play around with it a little bit more until you find the perfect fit for your design and size. So once you're happy with this, you can basically click on uh, the top right corner where you'll find this arrow here. Click on that and now you have your part propel. Tar propel, I said uh, part propel. Anyways, so here you can also, you know, change a little bit of stuff here um, from the bottom left. So the margin of it. For example, if you don't want it to be too thick, the lines, you can feel free to adjust that from the margin, like so. I think this is going to look best. Uh, scissor marks, I'm not really going to play around with that because I don't really know what that is. And I think for me, this is going to be suitable enough. And I can just go and click on the bottom right and export as PDF. And we are good to go. So this is all for this video. Hopefully you found it to be helpful. And thanks for watching.